what is up everybody yes i return to your phone your computer your tv your tablet your laptop i don't know what you're watching me on right now but welcome back it's me it's malcolm this is a sweet bucket hat and today back to reaction videos also my other laptop is fried so i'm just on my macbook now we are watching garrett watts overnight in an empty old haunted house i'm just ready to get into it are you ready let's do this. Okay, guest sponsor. Hey, uh, so first of all, welcome to a new video. Oh, sorry, okay. <clears throat> so right now, the time is 3.17 a.m. and I'm in uh, one of the rooms uh, in, in, in a house it's empty and it was built almost 100 years ago and I am very certain it is haunted now. And how I got here is a long story and I'm talking quiet right now because I thought that this house was empty but I might have been very wrong about that because just now I was in one of the rooms and I was going to open the closet door and I heard a sound from inside the closet um, and it was very loud. <laughs> okay, don't, don't die on me now, flashlight. Um, Jesus. Okay. Um, and I'm really hoping that the sound was just... Okay, stop. No, you stop. Be quiet. I'm in a scary moment. Don't ruin this. And I'm... Okay, you're literally not. You're in a very normal moment, and you're just playing scary music. Okay, that is not completely <laughs> true. Okay, yes, it is. Now, please stop this ghost hunter bad acting and tell people where you are and what you're actually doing right now. Okay, fine. This okay, wine so listen, girl. Listen. Oh, my God. Just open the door so we can see you. It's literally daytime outside. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, okay, fine. Fine. Jesus. Okay, fine. Okay, first of all, let me just tell you straight up, you have not been clickbaited, all right? That is not what has happened here. In this video, we will be exploring an almost 100-year-old, potentially haunted house that is empty. But the house I'm referencing may or may not be mine, as in, I just moved into it like a week ago. So welcome to my new house tour, which is what this video actually is. If you want to click away because I completely deceived you, I will totally understand. Not the Rugrats logo. And by the way, don't even worry, because this video will continue. Contains frights, spooks, and chills. So you're you're still in for a fun time. You, listen, whatever you clicked on, you're still gonna get. All right. <laughs> listen, just let me explain. I promise it makes sense. You see, I didn't want to call this video my new house tour because the last video that I uploaded was called my new house tour. Reason for that being is that I moved into a house that I thought was gonna be my new house a couple months ago, and then the owner, God bless her, sold it a couple days after I moved in. So I was immediately kicked out of that house. You might have seen that video. It was a whole thing. Don't worry, nothing will happen. <sighs> <laughs> I remember oh, that. Oh, it's disgusting. It's fine. Oh, the giddy weed. Don't want to forget my ear mask. Ouch. <laughs> and this house, which I don't think I'll get kicked out of, hopefully not, is my actual new house. And I love it so much. It is so old and spooky, potentially haunted. And I love this place so much that I could die and I would like to show you around. Now, you might be thinking, A, I'm very confused still, even though he kind of explained it. Or B, you could be thinking, wait a minute, what happened to your tiny house? The one that you lived in for like three years. Alley-oop. But I figure, why tell you when I could show you? This is a video after all, and that's what videos are first to, for us. That's what videos He's are right. for us to look with your eyes. So, let's go. Okay, no. <laughs> You see, I say back, because if you've watched me through the years, then you know that I've lived in this wonderful little tiny house for almost three years. I've lived here since Hello. all the way back to the early days of 2018, which was a comparatively innocent year. Ah, oh, 2018. It was a different time. It was the year of Black Panther's raging success. Beyonce at Coachella. Children were eating laundry detergent for clout. And of course, my absolute favorite cultural event of 2018, and perhaps the entire span of time that I've been alive. When this little raccoon here successfully scaled 
build a skyscraper in St. Paul, Minnesota for literally no reason. No one knows why he did it. He just wanted to do it and he did it. And I Love think that. about him every day. Sorry, I got off track. My point is that I've lived in here since early 2018. That's three solid years. And I have loved it for just two of those years. I say that because I started looking for a new place in late 2019, actually. Because I really, really needed more room to make videos, like a dedicated YouTube room, which would be so valuable to me. And to start a podcast with my friend Andrew Sawicki. I planned on having the most, you know, productive, creative 2020. But of course, what actually happened to mine and everyone's plans in 2020 was this. <laughs> Yep. But despite everything that happened in 2020, Accurate. I was at least able to do the two biggest things that I kind of wanted to get done. Number one thing I wanted to get done in 2020, start a podcast with my friend Andrew. So what you're looking at back here used to be my living room because Andrew and I decided to start the podcast uh, in here, which is why I still have this place, which is why we still have this place now, and we're just going to use it as our podcast studio. Also, I should take a second to say, if you're already watching uh, Andrew and I's weekly podcast every Wednesday, Sweet Boys! Uh, called Sweet Boys, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and if not, and if you want to see something like that, the info for that will be in the description if you care to check it out. Anyway, shameless plug. Come join us every Wednesday. We have a great time over there. I got you an air mattress that gets here tomorrow. Are you serious? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. It's a queen. <laughs> <laughs> She's wonderful. <laughs> And the second thing that I wanted to do in 2020 was to, well, actually in late 2019, was to find a new place. And thank goodness I finally did in early 2021. And what happened in here when it came to a full-time living space, I just outgrew this place, both like mentally and physically. Mentally, because I realized very quickly after I moved in here that like it wasn't enough room. It's just this room here, which is like the living room. And then there's a little room over here as well. And that's where the bed was. The place was adorable, mm. but it gave me no room to actually like shoot stuff and to make things and to, 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 to move. And, and that's why I said physically as well. Um, that I outgrew the space because I'm my body type, me as he is a person, tall. my body type can only be described not as ectomorph or endomorph, but more so the troll, the mountain troll from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's okay, Stone. No. That <laughs> into Hogwarts. And that's accurate. Trust me. You have no idea how many times I've slammed my head on things very hard in here and how many things I've broken. Like, just do. Just now. Oh, sorry. It, did, it wasn't anything important. It was just a, it was just a, bat, a piece of plastic. Um, my point is, though, is you have no idea how many things I've broken in here and how many injuries I've sustained just by being in here. I slam my head a lot on things. I think I've hit my head in here so many times that, like, I've lost my brain. But something's gone. I, I don't know. It's made me more forgetful, I'm certain. Oh, one time when I was getting up from that toilet, I slammed my head so oh. hard on this corner that I would say a good half of an inch of it went into my mind, went into my head. And uh, then I, fell on I, I can ground, feel that. Just whimpering. And after I came to and googled a lot of very specific things namely what to do when you hit your head so hard that you can't fill your body and also you're bleeding i then cleaned this <laughs> uh the blood off of this that was on it but it looks great now so thanks for the memories no, I'm he did not. Get to my new place so I can show you. <laughs> but it, it, it's in nighttime now, and it will be spooky. So you go. I don't want to just be in the house store. Get ready for probably to be kind of scared. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, tiny house. I love you. Goodbye. Even though I'm still gonna be here a lot because Andrew and I have our podcast here. But bye, bye for now. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have YouTube Premium. Uh, Y'all can do a five seconds of ads, right? Ooh, he's been like that for like 10 days. Why would he just fall? Sorry, I'm actually scared now. Uh, anyways, uh, welcome to my new place. And by my new place, I mean the place that I'm renting from someone else who owns this home because I'm not quite there yet. Sorry, my bank account isn't full of gold diamonds. So at first... Wait a second. I heard about this clip, and so so a lot of people are thinking this is a shot at Jeffree Star, and if you haven't been caught up on the drama, uh, yeah, apparently Jeffree Star money shames people that rent their house. I don't think I don't think Garrett did that, but people speculated. I found that funny. Interesting. But if it was a shot, that's effing funny, bro. <laughs> I wasn't sure how exactly to go about this house tour. 
Clearly. I was going to do one of those cool uh, architectural digest open door style videos, the ones that the thumbnails look like this. And oh, not David start Dobrik. With being like they open their front door and they go like, hi, well, come on in, welcome to my home. Uh, and then it shows all of their really cool, expensive, like vibey like stuff. Like MTV Cribs. Uh, really, like, nice interior design. Uh, but I don't think that would quite work in my case with me uh, as it is. It would look very off-brand for uh, architectural digest. Hey, how's it going? Fine, is this a good time? <laughs> No time like the present. Come on inside. Come on inside. Let me show you around. No architectural digest for me. Also, architectural digest didn't ask, and they wouldn't ask. I'm instead <laughs> just gonna take you around and show you the new place real quickly, and the only way that I know how to. Also, I will add that it's very dark right now because it's very late, and this house very well might be haunted, so there might be some spooky vibes in here. I don't know who's to say for sure. I've never really gotten a chance to walk around here at night. You might see a ghost, a skeleton, a ghoul, or a goblin. In fact, actually, if I'm being honest, right at this very moment, I'm seeing something a little creepy. Um, okay. I don't know what these books are doing here. I didn't put them there. I, oh I don't my know god. Who did. I didn't put them there. They must have been. Not with Pennywise. He's just sitting the house there. From the 1930s. Maybe Not I should just say that. 1999. and it looks a lot bigger than it is in real life because of the lens. So that's sort of an illusion. But still, I love it. Uh, there's not too much to it right now. It's pretty, it's, there's pretty empty. I need to find furniture. I'm really stoked about this fireplace here. I, I, I don't want to ever put a fire in it. I want to build a whole thing in there. I, I love decorating little spaces a lot. So I was thinking of, you know, building a whole like miniature world in there. Or I can make it like a common room for Mary Potter, one of the common rooms. I'm not sure oh what. It kind of has God. a Slytherin energy, although I'm not a Slytherin. No, that's a Gryffindor energy. Bro. Dope. I'm stoked about that because it makes me feel uh, like I live in an old church a little bit, which is something that I really want to do someday. I've always wanted to buy a very old church in the middle of the woods somewhere, preferably with a cemetery on the property. I would love that so much. I look every day to see if one is available that I could afford. I haven't found one yet, surprisingly enough. Uh, but what's... I'm hearing tiny paws. <laughs> Good lord, it's a little raccoon. Little raccoon, what are you getting from my pool? Oh god, it's a leaf. Jesus, now he's washing his little tiny hands. Good for you, little raccoon. Good for you. You've got wonderful manners and it shows. What have you got there? Oh god, it's another leaf. I'm proud of you because you're very good at finding leaves. But you don't have to eat leaves. Hang on, I'm gonna get you a banana. <laughs> Gone. Well, it seems as though my new raccoon friend scuttled off into the night with his stupid leaf and left me and my old banana all alone. But I was determined. I really, really wanted to see this raccoon eat that banana because I just moved in, so I don't have a TV or anything in here. So this is the best entertainment that I had. Also, I already really missed the raccoon. Can you blame me? Jesus, he was so funny. Like, remember when he was washing his little microscopic hands and then that weird shit he was doing with the leaf? God, I missed him so bad. But I figured after an hour and 17 minutes of waiting, I should probably call it a night and get back to the video I was making. And I figured he'd get to the banana if he wanted it and honestly even if he was gone forever i was just happy i got to spend some time with him i'm sure he'll get to it eventually i just really wanted to see him nibble uh some banana uh with his paws well i'd say let's get back to the living room but there's nothing else to see there you already saw it there's nothing in there i'll show you the uh this bathroom that absolutely looks like it's from a 1970s horror film sorry about the echoey voice but also i'm not uh truth be told i think this bathroom is very adorable it's uh very clearly like all the original 1930s uh, material in here and i really do love it but you can't sit here and tell me that there absolutely hasn't been a body found oh there. god I mean, yeah it's just gotta be the case. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong. It's just a theory. Maybe I'll be that body someday. 
I'll show you somewhere else now. Oh, actually, sorry, I forgot. I forgot. So speaking of fun to think about, oh, something else about right here. I'll tell you this next part. In the terrifying bathtub. Wow, can you believe it? At six foot four and 220 pounds, I kind of managed to fit like 31% of my body into this. All right. You know what I'm missing? You know what I'm missing right now? And maybe that's why I'm squinting so much. My screeners. Ugh. All right, back to the video. Thank you. Here in my horror bath, I'd like to tell you about something real fun. Something that includes value, quality, and convenience. Oh, that's right, baby. We're talking. I was supposed to catch it. It was going to look cool. <laughs> my line that I was going to say was, that's right, baby. I'm talking Dollar Shave Club. I was going to catch it, and then it'd be like that. You know, it didn't work. But anyway, the Dollar Shave Club is actually something that is so super, 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 super incredible that I love. Now you might be thinking, oh, Dollar Shave Club, come on, give me a break. What are they for? Just for shaving? And if you thought that, that's fair, but you'd be so wrong. Dollar Shave Club has got all your grooming needs covered. Covered, and I mean all. But more specifically, shaving, of course, skincare, which by the way, I'm really in need of because my skincare, since I moved into this place, has been this uh, old generic bar of soap that I found in this place when I moved in and have been using, which is, seems like a huge problem now that I say it out loud. Yikes. Anyways, they also got oral care going. Teeth stuff. Deodorant. Oh, they make a wonderful... I'm wearing it right now. I am wearing deodorant. I'm wearing deodorant. I love deodorant. Anyways... <laughs> Hello? Hi, this is the marketing team over at Dollar Shave Club. Oh, that's great. Hi, I'm just doing the brand. No, we know. We just wanted to say that it's awful and you need to be doing it a lot better. Uh, yeah, oh, because I smelled your armpit. Yeah, that was awful. Okay, but I was wearing your deodorant, so that's... Oh, I don't care. Just please never let that happen again. Sounds good. Th all right, thanks, but... Oh, they, they hung up. That's fine. Dollar Shave Club is nothing like that. They're the coolest people on the planet. Which is why I love working with them. And they let me get away with too much, to be honest. I absolutely love them. Anyways, Dollar Shave Club sent me their Ultimate Shave starter set here. And inside of it, you got the wavy, beautiful executive handle right here. And of course, high quality six blade blades. A one ounce tube of Dr. Carver's Prep Scrub to exfoliate dead skin and prevent ingrown hair. Stop! Sorry I dropped you, Dr. Carver's Prep Scrub. <laughs> one ounce tube of Dr. Carver's Shave Butter. Transparent, of course, for a more precise shave so you can see what you're doing. And it helps fight razor bumps get out of here razor bumps. Razor bumps. <laughs> and lastly one ounce Love tube it. of dr carver's post shave dude which both hydrates and relieves on contact my personal favorite dollar shave club product is 100 percent the deodorants they're all very good they have an incredible way with the scents the scents that they use are never overwhelming they're always very like beautiful and clean and natural and just very very good huge fan of the way that they make literally all of their products smell and a great place to start for yourself or for your boyfriend or girlfriend or sister or dad or grandma or anyone would be with the ultimate shave starter set which is only five dollars of course you could round out your grooming routine by adding any of their other high quality products and then after that the razor shit a regular price the website makes it very beautiful and easy you'll see and you can get started at dollarshaveclub.com slash garrettwatch just like this just like this right here how it's written again that's dollarshaveclub.com slash garrettwatch oh you're gonna love it i'm going to get out of this bath now and show you the next room uh which i'm not sure how i'm gonna get out of this bath because my back hurts so bad that I feel like I'm going to cry. Uh, but I'll, I'll figure this out off camera. Ouch. You know what? Oh, no. The shape's well. That's fine. Oh, hmm. Jesus. All right. The kitchen. That's a nice ass kitchen. Oh, my God. <laughs> that I keep that by my sink. Just, it's yes. just a little Pennywise uh, in a sewer with a ch uh, yeah, severed no. children's arm that I keep by the sink. Because, you know, sinks, sewer, I don't, it makes sense to me. Hey, speaking no. of terrifying things, let me tell you about my relationship with that window at night. You see, I'm a very well hydrated boy. I drink a lot of water. So sometimes I'll get up in the middle of the night, come in here, and I'll get a glass of water. And I'm not used to this many windows, you see. So sometimes I'll just sit there drinking my water, just praying that nothing appears on the other side of it. Because I have a very, very overactive imagination. <laughs> Not the dramatic zoom in. <laughs> it's behind you. right there above the kitchen sink. I do the exact same thing with that one too. <laughs> These angles are killing me. Oh my god. Sorry, I don't know why I'm being so scary with this edit. Here's a couple cute animals just to sort of reset the vibe. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna That's tell you about cute. my kitchen and make this video a little more normal. If you shop on Amazon, you should use this tool. It's a browser How about extension I that automatically don't. Thank you. 
Welcome to my kitchen. I mean, it's a kitchen. All right, kitchen. And I love I'm kitchens. I'm super excited but... about it, though, because it has a lot more room than my last kitchen. I have every intention to eat really well in this place and kind of see it as a reset, you know? New year, new uh, food to eat. In fact, in the time I've been in this house, I have already uh, cooked, or at least prepared, several incredibly healthy meals. For example, here's some of these very healthy meals that I've had in here. Fresh fruit, cottage cheese and pumpkin seeds, some carrots, cage-free farm-fresh eggs, shishito peppers, an ice green salad. Two crunch wrap supremes eaten consecutively. Oh, that looks so good. Nacho cheese sauce. A little bit of. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. What was the last thing you said? Oh, uh, a green salad. No, but before the, the carrots? I don't know. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I was talking about the, what, the cottage cheese? I, I don't uh, know. It was the crunch wrap supreme? Mm -hmm. No, that doesn't ring a bell. I've never. I don't know what that is. I hate you. I literally hate you. <laughs> Just move on. I don't care. I don't care. I, I will move on, but I'd, I'd love to try those sometimes. I've Just never... move on. Shut up. Okay, if you say so. Uh, my kitchen cabinets. They're very <laughs> empty right now, and I don't know what to do with them. I know traditionally people put things like plates and cups and uh, c cupboards, but I don't have many dishes. I've got three utensils, two coffee mugs, uh, one plate, and the tiniest pot you've ever seen, which I once what? made three peas in. So yeah, I'm not really into the storage, <laughs> and I don't know how to fill the uh, cupboards. Uh, but uh, the only thing I have in them right now is uh, a bunch of uh, little little tiny hot guys who are actually in timeout. And it's, and it's a long story. And, uh, and my plate, my, my one plate. Oh, uh, oh that plate day, was I found haunted. a cricket in the light. That was actually really fun. I thought I was uh, l losing my marbles for a moment because uh, I heard this old tick And lo and behold, it was a little cricket up in the light. Ah! Ah! There. So, you I know, hate I bugs. removed the hardware and found and found the little ah. guy. I had a couple ah. questions for nope. him. Yeah, you've got some explaining to do. How, I don't even, just tell me, how'd you do that? And, you know, he didn't answer because uh, he's a cricket. So, anyways, naturally, I went to take him out side and uh you know it didn't he didn't jump out i tried to get him to go out he stayed in the line so naturally i thought well you want to live with me and be one of my closest friends i was thrilled about my new roommate because crickets are actually said to be a uh, good luck when you find them in your house uh, no lawn there's a freaking lucky cricket that the grandma's obsessed with so i brought him inside set him up you know sliced him up some carrots gave him some nature because the internet said they like leaves he needed a, a home so i uh used a, an empty tea container i had and cut a little door in it and to us it's an old uh, tea container to him mansion uh you know so i put him in this little window and uh, he seemed very happy and so i you know i said good night to him okay good night closed his little window for privacy's sake and uh you know when i woke up the next morning he was gone can't even get a cricket to stick around i'm just kidding but he, he literally left so or on a more optimistic note got eaten by something else so, oh, actually, I know what he could have been eaten by because uh, the area that I, oh, it's all coming together now. The area that I put him in just a couple days earlier, um, there was this spider that I saw in this sort of like, well, what I can only describe as a cave. Oh. And I was uh, watching him. I watched this little spider for nope. a nope. really long time. I don't mess with uh, spiders. For so long, actually, that I, you know, I got a little peckish, got myself an orange. It was going pretty good. We were just uh, hanging out, sort of vibing there for a bit. And then, well, I got this new book called the book of yokai which is a, a book about sort of japanese monsters and ghosts and i really wanted to read it anyways i figured well maybe he's you know bored so started reading that to him in the case of yokai there is no universal classification code or nomenclature which i don't know what that word means but he must have gotten <laughs> a little freaked out oh, and i get God. it because he you know sort of retreated back into his cave oh. Um, oh, lost it. That's fine. I'm gonna keep on going. Or he didn't like the book. I'm not. I don't know. I just know that he, you know, he he got out of there. It didn't affect me. You know, I wanted to read the book anyways. So he never did come back out. So I kind of forgot about him. So you know, I didn't know that. I, I didn't even think about him when I put the cricket in the same sort of general area. You know, maybe it was. Maybe they. Maybe he just moved into his. Maybe the cricket just moved into his cave, his little cave, and they're just like you know together now. Can I just say? I know Garrett likes to play around a lot, and I mean a lot, but I really do think he really does do these things in his own free time because it seems like he really finds entertainment with things like this. Like when he talks about cooking three peas in that small little pot, I really do believe he actually did that. I don't think he joked about that. So... I want to be Garrett's friend so bad because I feel like he has so many adventures that I could be having. I need Garrett to be my friend. Garrett, if you're watching this video, let's be friends. I mean, I live in Maryland, but we could still be like like coastal friends because you know you're 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 all the way in the west and I'm in the east. So, uh, yeah.
Yeah. Just hanging out, talking about how much fun they both had individually with me, sharing their experiences. That's probably what happened. Yeah, that's probably it. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's the kitchen. So, this little tiny sort of little... Well, it looks room. nice and cozy, too. This is where all the spider action happened, really, was in that little window there. You know, I've just sort of got my little things in here. Um, the, everything's kind of displaced right now because I don't have, like, furniture or a place to put my things. But right now, all my, you know, my little friends are just in here. I've got my little miniatures. You know, a couple little bookshelves, my little PlayStation, some ghosts. That, Ruth, that's Ruth. Uh, yeah, a little <laughs> pair of boots I got from eBay that I've just been dying to put somewhere cool. My anime boys, heroes, my things. Hey. My new handsome dog friend that I'm so obsessed with. Oh, and this great cabinet right here, which inside of that, you know, I don't really have much in there just uh others i mean Really no. Cool yeah, just nothing. I don't know. <laughs> Great. Do, do you want to talk about all the skulls in there? No. Fine. I don't care. Move on. All right. This uh, empty room that I have no idea what to do with. Sorry, there's nothing uh, much to say about this room. Uh, like I said, literally, li no nothing has happened in here. Oh, unless, of course, you count last night where I had a pretty wild time in this room. <laughs> okay, ew. Literally, what does that mean? Oh, nothing. Just that I had the time of my life in here last night. What? what I, alone? You just. Yes, alone. You could have so much fun alone. Okay, yeah, but like, what did you do? Uh, you wouldn't get it, but trust me. It was wild, okay? Oh, it's got a lot of touch Oh, my. There's a double weapon where you run. I blood bands and cut me out of God. That, but we have to stop. We, it doesn't matter. Just move on. But did you want to leave? <laughs> I don't care. Just, just leave this room. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The guest room, a.k.a. the tiniest room in the house, which is where I currently sleep, even though there's a significantly larger bedroom, but I've got sort of a weird thing with small spaces that I really like to sleep in tiny locked rooms, which is probably linked to some sort of trust issue thing, but I don't want to figure all that out. That's too much to unpack. Anyways, this is my twin bed. Yikes. Wait. As tall as he is, he sleeps in a twin bed. I'm shorter than him, and I sleep in a queen bed, and I'm I barely like fit sometimes. Huh? <laughs> I could. I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm just imagining like his feet. <laughs> I'm just imagining his feet like dangling off the edge, and it's just like his feet are up, and it. His sheets are covering his whole body and his feet are just sticking out. What? I have issues. I apologize. Let's go back to the video before I lose it again. Okay. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You might be going, Garrett, come on. Get your bed together. This is a new house, a new you, a new year. And you can't be sleeping with one pillow and a beach towel and no sheets. But in my defense, I just moved in. So, you know, I haven't had time to get my blanket. Uh, no, correction. You've been in here for almost half of a month. True. But what? you're just too lazy to put your bed together because you're a literal cave creature. Yeah? No shame, huh? Nope. You don't feel anything, huh? Honestly, no. Nothing. Want to see my bed sores? You know about this. I talk about it all the time. It's just my <laughs> bed sword in case a bad guy wants to attack me um, in my, when I'm asleep. When I'm asleep. No, for real, though. I will put my bed together. I'm excited. I don't even know if this is going to be the bed that I sleep on. This is a bed that uh, my boy Andrew, so he gave me because we did a whole bed swap thing. It was a whole <laughs> situation because he moved into a new place as well. So I don't know Aww. what I'm going to stand, what I'm going to sleep on. I'm thinking of, like, sleeping on a Japanese futon situation. I don't even know if I want a bed. I don't know if I'm a bed person. I have too many questions. Um, so I don't, I don't, I'm not ready to commit to any, to any beds or sheets or anything like that, you know? So right now, um, my bath towel will do, which, in all fairness, it's, it's a very comfortable bath towel and it's massive so it's done the trick um, but yeah I don't know what this room is gonna be really I, I think it'd be really cool to turn it into some sort of crafting room or maybe a guest room or maybe just make it like a 90s themed video game room I don't know Ooh. I'm very new to having more than like a very tiny box place so I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with how much space there is so I don't know what I'm gonna do in here necessarily but I okay I'm sorry I just heard the craziest sound ever in the closet. I think you did too, if it picked it up. It sounded like something fell, but there's nothing in there. So let's see. What is this? Are we actually going to become scary? I have. Come on. I hate Jesus. this baby. Jesus. Good oh gore. Please don't blow these candles out. We have talked about candles. How did I you hate get this here? baby, I bro. I've been for a little while. I felt I burned down your little finish. Oh, God. I guess it's kind of good to see you. Did you burn down the orphanage? Well, uh, well, I, uh, 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 uh,
<laughs> Bruh, that baby. Okay, let me show you something else here. Welcome to this tiny weird bathroom that I kind of don't fit in. Uh, so I actually really like this bathroom, and it's the only one that I use because I'm too frightened of the other one. Oh, so I promise right now, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I am have pants on. I would never do that to you. My favorite feature about this bathroom is this wonderful little uh, ledge here, actually. And I assume that this ledge was specifically built for the only reason that it could be built for uh, in the 30s, which was to prop up my iPhone on uh, to watch anime while I'm using the restroom. I assume that the guy That's who designed smart. this house, he very carefully drafted out the plans of the home and you know it was super important that i not have to you know i had a place to put my uh, iphone playing anime so I, you know i didn't have to hold it as for the bathroom design one of the most important features in this home that i would like to build in the 1930s the ledge in the bathroom is the most important part so that it may support a phone while playing anime um so thank you architect of the past okay like i said not much to see in here i'll show you the last thing and this here is the backyard why wait until daytime for, uh, to show you because because, yeah, so you can see it. I have an overwhelming amount of ideas that I want to do back here. So for now, I'll just say that's the backyard. <laughs> oh, you know, it'd be fun. Let's uh, let's end it where we started it. This is just a scary little room that I have. Look at this. This is the room we started in. The room where I low-key clickbaited you into watching my new house tour video. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I clickbaited you. I don't think I did. I don't think you did. I think the title made sense for the video. I really do. We yeah. had fun. I think. I hope. Thank you so much for joining my little house tour adventure with me. So excited to be in a new place. I finally have what I've been looking for for so long. That, see. I'm ending this video in a bit of an untraditional way just because, you know, usually I'm in my whole setup and I'm saying goodbye and I'm answering questions and I'm doing all these things. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to do that right now. Um, I will ask you a question because I love being in the comments so much, but I'm going to try some new stuff here on YouTube in general. It's a lot more just sort of like off the cuff and free and fun and, you know, I'd, I'd, it's silly to talk about it. I'd rather just show you. Um, so I, I hope you, uh, you know, <laughs> stick around on this little channel. If you've given it a chance for this long, which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing a bunch of stuff here. Uh, and so I hope you're down to, uh, to to clown with me. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring. If you want to catch me uh, between uploads, I'm this. Just Garrett underscore Watts on every social media platform. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. I'm always tweeting. I'm always responding to people too. You know, I love that so much. Uh, speaking of responding to people, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm not going to do the thing I normally do where I feature the answers in this one because I want to have a whole thing for that. It might be a live thing or what. I don't know. Just trust me. Uh, sorry if you like that section, but I'm going to hold off on that just for now. I'm might bring it back. I don't know. We'll see. But I do want to ask you a question because uh, regardless of that, or irregardless, I don't know anything. Um, it's still fun to be in the comments because I really, really, really love responding to comments. So I will ask you a question right now, which I hope you respond to in the comments. My question I'd like to ask you in my new spooky room, which actually is full of spiders, is what is something that you want to do this year? It's still a new year. The year is still fresh, okay? It hasn't even had time to get too jaded by the internet, I don't think. Uh, but what is something this year that you want to do on a personal level? I want to, I mean, there's all the obvious stuff. Building out my YouTube channel, trying new things, having more space to do that, and I, you'll see. <laughs> uh, but something that I really, really, really want to do is get get into building miniatures. I, I now have room for all my crafts. You know, I'll start simple. I want to build, like, little miniature cemeteries and stuff, and all sorts of different things that I want to do. I've always been really obsessed with miniatures, and I figure, why just, you know, uh, collect them when I could actually create them? So that's a simple uh, sort of thing I want to do. So, yeah, I really want to build, work on building miniatures this year. Uh, and, you know, getting more consistent on my own channel here. What's something you want to do this year? Please tell me. Let me know. All right. My knees hurt. I don't normally <laughs> sit like this. Mostly because I don't have I don't have chairs. I need to get things in this place, which I'm going to work on now. I'm going to work on right now of about, of putting things inside of my home, which I have now that is new. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Be good and mind your manners. Okay. Bye bye. Another entertaining video once again from the great Garrett Watts. The simplest question what I want to do this year I want to grow my YouTube channel another thing about my YouTube channel and if you're only here for reaction if you're only here for reactions and you always see me doing commentary or like doing random haul videos or any other type of content in one channel that's what I do my channel is not specifically for one thing I like I like to be like old school YouTube and be one channel. I don't want to make a second channel ever. I think it's time for creators to just go back to using one channel. Why? Because one, the algorithm is stupid. I always thought it was stupid. It was fine. <laughs> I think YouTube was fine the way it was before. Before they included the algorithm and recommendations like that. 
Uh, but yeah, I would just like to grow my channel. Uh, don't know where it's gonna go. Uh, I upload inconsistently, so I definitely want to work on that. But other than that, everything in motion I already started last year. So to say what I want to do, what I want to do this year, just grow my YouTube channel, and that's pretty much all I want to do. Once again, it is Malcolm. That's me. Subscription button up here to the videos over there for your own free time. Without further ado, I wish you well. I wish you good health. I will see you again next time. Sweet bucket hat.